I'm Karen Yank and I'm a sculptor and primarily I work in large scale public work anywhere in the United States. And um, I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So my whole life was steeped in the arts. My father's a sculptor and so um, it, he, he kind of used the whole family when he was doing large scale pieces and um, I guess I took the most aptitude toward it and so I was welding at a very young age and helping him with projects and I got really into it. With all sculptures that I do for public arena but this in particular work with um, metals that are really strong and resilient to weather and and you know climate change and things like that so here you're seeing core 10 steel which is a steel that was used historically for I-beams and such because it will make a rust coating and then it will not continue to rust. So its longevity is really good and it gets a, a prettier color, I think, than regular mild steel as well in its patina. And then I mix that with stainless steel to highlight it and kind of give it a little spark. And But I don't like my stainless steel to be just like really highly polished. So I do a lot of playing around with the mark making and then buffing it back and flattening it out and just catching enough of the reflection of the sun. So those are the two materials and then they mix really well together. I went to the north side of Chadron and I, I um, was looking at the skyline and um, I actually borrowed some photographs from the, from the school to, to use for the skyline because I liked it so much. We drove around the area a lot to see the land. The winds were really strong and the prairie grasses were just like moving and dancing in front of us. And I just would get so excited by that. And I felt really happy that I had even captured a little bit of that in my first design. And then I kind of re perfected that even more. And I tried to really capture that in a static piece, but to have that implied motion, and I feel like I did. So that's my, you know, probably my favorite part. So this project, I used uh, Cootie Design in Albuquerque, and it's our first project together. And I'm glad to see it turned out so well, and uh, the guys were great to work with. The base of this sculpture is really, really sturdy. So that went in first and got welded off to a uh, embed that's put into the concrete base and then that's very secure and then we slid on the top part and it just like locked into place almost but then we welded that off as well and then there's just a little cleanup you know where you muff things or uh rusting the weld areas and things like that so you know it's a long day but it went very well 